Often when we think about black people in technology, we have negative or pejorative representations of this relationship. In this mini lecture, I would like to talk about how to think more positively about this relationship. And I would like to talk about the theme of black vernacular technological creativity. Black vernacular technological creativity has three components, redeployment, reconception, and recreation. Redeployment is the process by which the material and symbolic power of a technology is reinterpreted um, but maintains its traditional use and physical form. For example, Black Panther Party members in this image of Bobby Seale and Huey P. Newton appropriated the symbolic and material power of the gun, this device that had been used for centuries to control, in the loosest sense, African American bodies. They understood that if they could reinterpret this power of this object, they could reset how African American people were thought of, experienced, and interacted with the world. The Black Panther Party members clearly understood this power, and case in point, they used this iconography and imagery uh, on the cover of the Black Panther magazine. Reconception is the active redefinition of a technology that transgresses the technology's design, function, and or dominant meaning. A clear example of this is the turntable and vinyl records. Turntables and vinyl records were designed and manufactured to listen to pre-recorded music, but DJs and turntablists all of a sudden took these devices and reinscribed them and rethought about them, in a sense, to create a device that now lets you produce and create music rather than passively listen to music inscribed on the vinyl. The final aspect is recreation. Recreation is the redesign of a product um, or a new material artifact after an existing form and our function has been rejected. This is an example I would like to talk about is the Empath Mixer designed by Grandmaster Flash. Grandmaster Flash understood that the exi existing mixers did not fit his sonic and cultural priorities and needs. So therefore, he felt it was important and imperative that he redesign the new technology based on his beliefs and understandings. So what I would like the, this mini lecture to say is that oftentimes we think about black people and technology. We have negative understandings to them. But through this new framework, we can rethink black people and technology in more positive and um, thoughtful ways.